Hey everybody, Zamian Parsons here. I'm a realtor in beautiful Victoria, BC. It's Victoria Community Spotlight time. Today we're at the Tea House at the Abkhazi Garden. We're near the intersection of Foul Bay and Fairfield. Can't wait to learn more about the history of this place. Come on inside, let's take a look. Hello folks, I'm here with uh, Paige. He is the owner operator of the Tea House at Abkhazi Gardens. What a beautiful spot. Tell us a little bit about who owns the land itself. The Land Conservancy owns the land. They've owned it since 2000 and leased it and operated it since uh, 2013. 2013, yeah. okay, cool. What is the, uh, I know there's a really cool uh, backstory to this garden, makes it uh, one of the most unique places, especially to visit in Victoria. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the history of it? Yeah, well, it's the former residence of the Prince and Princess of Kazi, who met each other in Paris in 1922, got to know each other over a couple of years, but then they were separated by the war. He was in turn, he was put in a POW camp as a French citizen, and she had returned to Shanghai where she grew up and was put in an internment camp by the Chinese. So they're separated for many years throughout the duration of the war. Um, and when, uh, when, the, when the war was over, she intended to go back to England and stopped here to visit some friends of hers, uh, discovered that this place was for sale. She bought it in 1946 for $1,800. And um, uh, she started having a clear, there was of course just rock and scrub then. Six months in, she finally heard from the prince who had been trying to find her, because they had lost touch over the, over the war years. They got in touch with each other. She went to New York to meet him, and they returned here and were married in the end of 1946, and uh, built the house in 47. And then they spent the next 40 years together building the garden. I see you got some little ponds here, some turtles. Uh, what, what's uh, the main attractions when people come here and look around? The, the main attraction is the fact that um, there's so many rare plants in this garden. There's more rare plants per square foot in this garden than any garden in North America. Wow. We have a very large rhododendron grove. As soon as you enter the uh, garden, um, most of them were gifted to the prince and princess from a nobleman who lived up in Cowichan Valley. And uh, so most of them are between 100 and 150 years old. When people come to the tea house, uh, what do you got on the menu? What do people enjoy here? Well, our feature, being the tea house, is tea. Okay. So we do high tea, a four course high tea, and we do a three course afternoon tea. We also do some um, uh, lunch menus, like light lunches. Okay. Uh, we're open all year round. We feature Silk Road teas. So uh, besides uh, serving uh, tea, uh, what else, uh, what other functions do you guys host here? Yeah, we do private functions. Um, the property is available for booking after 5 p.m., 5 to 11. Oh, okay. So we do a lot of weddings. We can do uh, ceremonies in the garden for up to 150 people. And we do uh, sit down meals for up to 45 in the tea house itself. And we've done stand up receptions for up to 150 here on the terrace and throughout the garden. So, fabulous. Yeah. Thank you so much, Paige. What Thank a, you. What an interesting place this is. I know I've never been here before. I'm definitely going to come and check it out with my family. I encourage all the locals to come and check it out. You can visit anytime between 11 and 5 o'clock, get some tea, take a walk around these beautiful gardens, and we look forward to seeing you folks here really soon.